Hello guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sol and those of you who do, welcome back. In today's video, I'm filming a light summer flirty look, perfect for barbecue days and days spent in the garden. And I will be using Kat Von D's Fetish Palette. So this is how it looks like. It's a beautiful palette, some really nice bold colours in there, but I want to get a light, flirty, white dress, kind of, just a light, airy look. So if you like to see that, keep watching. Because I'll be spending the day in the garden, I've already moisturised and I've applied a generous amount of my to-go-to sunscreen which is the Le Mer one so I've got a generous amount of that on and if you watched my previous makeup tutorials I call them makeup tutorials but my previous oh, my previous videos of makeup application I used the contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I used the warm coral just under my eyes and I've already put on some concealer and the concealer I've used today is the Bobbi Brown concealer it's the instant full cover concealer and it's in sand okay so next thing that I will do is foundation I tend usually not to use a lot of foundation, so this is NARS in Sehel. And I buffer it in with a buffer brush. I'm not going to go too heavy today though, I think. Just a light look. Guys, I really miss getting my lashes done. I really miss it. Okay. And then I go over it with my beauty blender. I can see a few people just walking outside with face masks on. Each to their own, but I don't think when you're outdoors and there's quite a bit of space between you, you don't really need face masks, it's unnecessary, but if it's placebo, if you feel safe with it, then why not, if it makes you feel comfortable. Okay. And then the next thing I'll be doing is my contour. And today I'm using the Fenty Beauty and it's in truffle. I like the way they go. So I'm using that in truffle. My roots on my hair have grown out and I'm not usually this lazy with them. Like the last time I actually did my roots was when I filmed it. Sorry, I'll just find that. Was when I filmed it for you guys. So, which was what, a month ago? So I'm being super lazy with them. 
but I don't know what it is. You know, I'm not working the same hours as before. I'm not seeing, I'm not treating patients, but I come home and I'm just so tired and so drained. I don't fancy doing anything and it's not an excuse, you know. Oh, I shouldn't be making excuses. My hours are definitely not as long as they used to be. So there are days that I finish at three o'clock or I'm home by half three, you know. On Monday last week, I was fit testing in Manchester. Uh, that was different. Okay, as you can see, really liked. Really, really like contouring. Okay, I've got Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier. I'm using, I don't know if I told you guys, but I ordered some Translucent Powder. I'm going to place a little bit of this just under my eyes to set it, but also to stop from my, I find that when I apply my eyeshadow, a lot of it sheds. So if I apply this beforehand and then get rid of it after, it doesn't tend to stick to my skin. Whereas with the foundation straight, it does grasp the pigments of the eyeshadow. Um, yeah, as I was saying, so I ordered some translucent powder. Yeah, translucent powder from Kylie Jenner, like um, Kylie Cosmetics and highlighter, because I find that hers, her highlighter and also her setting powder is one of the best. Oh, it's just so nice. But I've yet to receive it, so I emailed them today. Let's see what they say. But I think it's probably with everything that's going on. I don't know what's going on in America, so... I've stopped watching the news. I used to be so on it. I'd wake up in the morning, read the stats, see what's going on, but now... I just don't want to, okay? So because I've got mature skin, I'm 37, my skin's mature, I can't set it for too long. It does otherwise go into my skin, my creases, so I can't set for too long. So now I'm using the 227 Lux Definer brush. And let's see, what colour are we going to go for? I think we'll go for Fixation, which is that one. The names on this palette are kinky. So one's called Cuffs, Rubber, Corset, Sex, Suspension, blindfold oh wow one's called safe word i think we'll use fixation and safe word today okay so as you can see my eyes are really hooded it's just in the crease so i didn't use a primer on my eyes just my moisturiser that I had prior and that's it. So we're using the fixation as the base.
So guys, before the lockdown, I started applying for jobs because for those of you that know, my training post ends in end of August. So I'm on a two year training post. It's called DFT, DCT, um, Dental Foundation Trainee, Dental Core Trainee. So it's two years combined. It used to be called the Longitudinal it's very competitive so for me to get it especially being abroad i was very happy with it uh, but that comes to a close end of august so before the lockdown i started applying for jobs and i had an interview during lockdown and it was for a place in milton Keynes. it's a community post and the interview was over zoom so when, as soon as it came up, they said, okay, well, and we know that you applied for Milton Keynes, but looking at where you live and the geographics of it, we've got this other place that's closer to where you live. Would you be interested? And I thought, yeah, why not? So the interview was at 11 o'clock. Yeah, it was at 11 and it finished at half 12. I thought it went really well. And after it ended, I, I felt pretty good about it. That evening, they called me up at half seven and offered me the post. So I was super chuffed, super happy about it. And then when she told me, she said, oh, I'll take a couple of days to think about it. I was like, oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Yeah, I definitely accept, like, you know. So I said, no, it's not because you done And what happened? So she said, yeah, let us know by email within the next couple of days. Literally, I woke up the following morning. I was at work. Where to work? Oh, I emailed them whilst I was at work. So on my lunch hour, I emailed them saying, I'd love to accept. Thank you so much. But I think my acceptance email was so uh, informal. It was just, you could read the excitement in the text. So I start that job in September. And so it's pretty cool. So now I'm going in, uh, let's see, and so I'm using the Lux Pencil in 230, and then we're going to use a safe word. So the post I've applied for, it's a community dental post and it's um, basically working mostly with adult special care and paediatrics, so children. Guys, had I had been younger, I think I would have gone for another year of dental core training and gone down the specialization route. However, because of my age, ideally, I'd like to start my own family, you know, within the next couple of years. So I can't do this, you know. I think it's time to put the books away. start concentrating on other stuff okay so now I'm going in with bondage just a little bit of bondage there so I'm so dirty okay a lot there where my hoods are and then we're going to blend it in Now I'm just blending and I'm using the Luxe Crease in 
two, two, eight. Ooh, let me do it professionally. Have I got the right bit? Can you see? Not focusing. But take my word for it, it's the two, two, eight. So guys, now I'm going to be using Stiller's Glitter and Gold eyeshadow, but it's just a little bit, just on the corners. Can you see just a tiny amount there? You can see just a very small amount. And for my brows, I'm not going to have heavy brows today. So I'm just going to have a clear brow gel and the ones that I'm using is Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Uh, but you could literally use just your old mascara wand, wash it, and then just with a little bit of Vaseline even. find that the brow gel has already got a little bit of colour, you know where you use it on your brows where you've penciled them in, so. Yesterday I downloaded this app called Duolingo and it's because I've got a lot of German friends, shout out to my German friends, and I thought once they have kids, I won't be able to communicate with their kids initially when they're born. You know, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm starting to down, I downloaded this. And then, so I had one day of practicing. I've not learned much, but let's see. So, eyeliner now. Um, using, it is a clinic one, but it has rubbed off. <laughs> And I'm only using a very thin liner. It's a very thin liner and I'm doing, and that's only so that you won't be able to see the lashes. That's it. So I'm using Maybelline's Colossal 100% Black. I pump my mascara. I know you're not meant to, but I just do. So I'm not doing a heavy mascara like you saw me do in the makeup tutorial free. It's just light mascara. And then the top lashes. I was speaking to one of the nurses today. Well, not today actually. Um, when was it? Last week. And 
and she was saying that she has this one friend who is completely different in front of her boyfriend to how she's like in normal life and how she's like when her boyfriend's not there so and she said that she always points out all her negatives in front of her boyfriend so the friend points out my nurse's negatives in front of my nurse's boyfriend and she said you know who i mean in the sense that you know that girl and i thought mm, how sad is it that we all know a girl like that you know but not all girls are like that i know so many women who try and build up other women and I've really noticed it with Seppi's generation. You know, Seppi's generation are really into praising one another and building one another up. And they're not shy about taking inspiration from each other, which is really nice. Whereas I think with mine, maybe would be a little reserved if we were to get inspired by someone and say it. You know, you wouldn't want to seem like you're copying them, even though you clearly are, but you know. I don't actually think we do it out of a negative. I think it's just because we're so polite, we don't want to come across as rude. If that makes any sense. Okay, guys. Didn't really like mascara. We let the mascara dry before we apply my false lashes and during that time I'm going to do my lip liner. So I've got MAC in, bloody hell, it's worn down so long, morning coffee. So there's only a little bit remaining. my front door closing. Now I'm going in with nude suede shoes from NYX. dehydrated can you see how my lips are peeling that's what I was meant to finish off okay and then the third one that I'm using today is sugar glass and that's only on the corners yeah actually on my cupid's bow right there So guys, I'm going to just line the inside of my eye and I'm using the Max Factor Coal. It's called Coal Kajal Liner. 
and just uh, and only on my top. So I've actually got some lashes that I've previously used and I'm going to show you how you could reuse them. Okay, so you remove the previous glue from it. Guys, before I started dentistry, my nails used to be, can you see that's all the old glue, you try and remove that. Um, my nails were always done. They used to be long and manicured and literally every two weeks I'll be there getting my refills and it was always acrylic. It, I never moved over to gel, you know. I was that generation where we started off with acrylics and I kind of stuck to acrylics. Okay, so I'm just removing all those excess bits of glue that were dried and left over on the lashes. And then we do exactly the same thing on the other one. So you can see the difference. So that's the one that's been done. And this one's the one that needs to be done. Can you see how it's darker? You may need to be gentle. There's been times where I've tried to do this and I've pulled the lash in the middle, so be careful. And it also depends on the quality of the lash. You invest a little more on better ones. They tend to be better. I read somewhere that if you're gonna go on a first date or at the beginning of dating period, it's best to go to the cinema first and then for a meal, this way, when you're at your meal, you can talk about the movie and it'll give you something to talk about. So. Okay, so it doesn't go all the way through there to cover two thirds of my eye. And then we do the other side. Guys, when the glue is almost set, it's so much easier to manipulate and apply. So you have to get it at that almost dry point. I'm kind of in two minds. Do you think I should just draw a little bit on my brows? We'll try it without. Okay. So we're going to go for blusher. And I'm using a MAC one which is actually rubbed off on the back of it. Upon something me, pinch, pinch me. A Mac pinch me I'm using. There you go, and that's literally all the blusher I apply. Then I've got the fan brush and I'm using the MAC Gold Glow. And I'm gonna have quite a bit
guys I feel like my lips just need maybe a little balm so I'm going to use my Sephora dragon fruit lip sculpt and this was actually a gift from Seppi when she went to Dubai so So I'm going to use the matte bronzer by NYX and it's in medium. Okay, and the brush is a 101. And my next matte finish setting spray, guys, I love this. I really do. Okay, let's see. Guys, this is the final look. I hope you like it. Maybe I'll put a little choker on to make it a little more flirty. There you go. Guys, this is the final look. I hope you like it. It's light, it's flirty, and it's just summer. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe I put too much hair up there. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs, a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe for more videos from myself. Guys, thank you for watching.